Well, hello, David Taub here, and welcome to the intermediate section of the website here at Next Level Guitar. Today's your lucky day. We have Tim Gilberg in the house. Oh, yeah. Intermediate, even though I'm not an intermediate yet. Even though he's not an intermediate. I'm just an innocent bystander. He, he didn't earn that merit badge just yet. He's I, I'm not to that lesson module. That's right. And uh, I just wanted to go over a few things with you as you're moving forward in your guitar journey. And I wanted to congratulate you also. If you had worked your way through the beginner lessons, congratulations. And now you're to the intermediate section. Or maybe if you're just someone who is about at the intermediate level and you're just joining us, welcome. And um, I think it's important to note a few things. And I also wanted to talk about where a, roughly you should be at right now on your guitar journey. You know, we get a lot of questions and emails from students all over the world here at Next Level Guitar. And we try to answer every one of them personally, Tim and I. And a lot of people are like, well, what's an intermediate player versus what's a, a beginner? And there really isn't like any arbitrarily De 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 decided rules that says once yeah once you hit this you're this and whatever it's everyone kind of has a different opinion what I think is this now if you were in the beginner section and you finished up most of the beginner section with my students I think in my crazy brain that if you're at the level where you can play a lot of different bar chords off the sixth and fifth string and you could switch from bar chords to open chords and open chords to bar chords in time if you can do that, and if you could start figuring out strum patterns by ear, if you have weaned yourself off of looking at downs and ups, and if you can play songs completely through, and um, if you know your, you know, obviously all your open chords and open position major and minor and sevenths and blah, 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 all your open chords or many of them, then you're about time to move into uh, the uh, intermediate section. Also, you should be pretty good with your rhythm and your timing as far as being able to play quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, strums, being able to mix them together. And those are all lesson modules that we had in the end, toward the end of the beginner section. The big one is the bar chords. You've got to be able to change bar chords in time and go from bars to opens and opens to bars. And there's plenty of lessons on that. If you haven't got to that level, you might want to visit those first. Now an interesting thing happens, and this, this again causes some confusion uh, as far as this section, because now if you're in this section, intermediate section, your guitar journey is going to go into several different paths, which you get to choose. That's the beautiful thing about guitar. You see, as a beginner, in the beginner section, no matter what kind of music that you like, no matter what, if you have an acoustic, if you have an electric, if you're playing country, if you're playing blues, if you're going to play rock, Starting off on the guitar, the fundamentals are the same, right? Everybody's got to learn how to hold a guitar, how to hold the pick, how to strum, what's a quarter note, eighth note. Uh, you got to learn your first batch of chords. You got to learn about rhythm, about timing. This is commonplace no matter what genre of music or if you're playing acoustic, electric, whatever. Those things, so beginner, those lessons can be very, very structured and definite staircase. You got to go one to the next to the next to the next. You got to learn how to change chords. You got to learn how to go from opens to another opens to open position sevens. Then you got to learn different strum patterns, different rhythms. Then you got to learn, you know, keep improving your chord vocabulary, learn new strum patterns. You got to get the power chords and bar chords, develop your ear. That's the structure, okay? Now, when you get to the intermediate section, the great thing about guitar is you could start to focus a little bit more on the things that you really want to learn about guitar and a little bit about um, um, your guitar goals, okay? So what we do in the intermediate section is I kind of give you lots of different tastes of different things. Now, you're going to continue developing your ear. You want to continue to learn songs and use them as vehicles to practice the techniques on guitar. You want to continue learning new chords and improving your chord vocabulary and going into our chord library. And in a few lessons from now in your minute section, you're going to see we have a bar chord review where you're going to learn some new bar chords and review some of your old ones. Okay? Remember, everything that you're learning, you have to apply, otherwise you're going to forget it. But then we start to get into some different things. Okay? I start to go into finger exercises where you can start improving the finger dexterity and strength of all your fingers. We start talking about learning the notes on the neck, which are critical. Then we get into different rhythmic exercises where you can learn maybe a jazz progression, learn a blues progression, learn some reggae. Uh, you don't necessarily have to 
visit every one of those. You don't necessarily have to visit every single module in the intermediate and advanced sections like you did in the beginner section. You see, because some people maybe want to stick with straight rhythm playing. Other people want to learn how to do a little more bluesy stuff. Some people want to take the path and learn some more jazzy things. Other people want to go and learn lead guitar. And a lot of players do, and that's why a lot of the intermediate section we start, we're getting your fingers in shape, we're getting, improving your dexterity and your strength, and then you're going to start learning some scales, some pentatonic scales, some major scales, and then we'll go into the modes and how to use them and how to put your riffs together, how to play lead guitar, how to look at the guitar neck and connect ideas, how to write songs. Um, so you see, now that you're an intermediate and now that you're moving forward, you get to choose some of your paths. So visit as many, uh, I think you should visit and take a taste of everything. And then you could start to really hone in on what really turns you on about guitar, okay? So I just wanted to clear up that because a question I get from a lot of students is, you know, why are we bouncing around a little bit? And I think it's important to try a little bit of everything and see what really, really, you really love about this beautiful, wonderful instrument that you're passionate about, okay? So um, that's the structure we're going to use going forward. And keep coming back because we always add new content every a couple times a month we're adding new lessons, we're adding new jam tracks. You also should be visiting the written lesson section like you were doing in the beginner section. And you also should be visiting our other lessons like we have lessons on um, music theory and I tie some of that in in this intermediate section. You, you should... led them on the path to enlightenment. They, they must make choices. You must make choices. Oh, I'm taking you down that path. Is that Kung Fu? Remember when he said grasshopper? You yes. Now make choices. That's right. And good choices. So go to the, the also the music theory section and start you know learning more about chord construction. We're going to talk about that. What notes make up what chords and why? We're going to talk. You can visit on songwriting. Visit the modules on guitars and gear, and you know, try to get as comprehensive an education as possible. But still, you know, you want to focus in, okay? And um, if you have any questions, you could email us. That's the other thing. You know, we're not the kind of website where we just unleash you on your own. We're very um, interactive. Interactive, and um, we're easily contacted because you could email us through the website and uh, we it try makes to the site better when you send us the email because we respond to what if we see there's a path that people want to take we'll go to that address that yeah absolutely there's I get a lot of uh, ideas for new lessons from what you want because as you're going through this I need your input and to see it through your eyes and sometimes the students say will say hey um, I always wanted to learn how to play uh, a certain guitar technique maybe that called string skipping or I always wanted to uh, I don't understand the concept of hammer-ons can you do a real detailed lesson and then I will and then we'll put it on the site if um, we feel that a lot of people are going to be benefiting from it so send your feedback and insights we constantly are tweaking the site to make it the best site possible the best guitar resource available anywhere in the world today alright so I want you to rock on. Remember, put that guitar in your hands every day if you can, even if it's only for 10 minutes, okay? It's so important. Those little 10-minute sessions really add up. Keep practicing the right things. Develop your ear. I know I say that a lot, but it's so critical. I would not steer you wrong, good people. And have fun. Give yourself some fun time on the guitar. I know we've been going through lots of structured practice regimens where you're practicing specific things, going for specific goals that I've outlined and that you've been going through. But it's also nice to give yourself a half an hour just to play some songs or to just maybe try to write something. I think that's real important to just give yourself some fun time on guitar. You should have your binder and and like I talked about and be printing out things, keeping your practice regimen, printing the written lessons and keeping that in a nice three ring binder and that's what you're practicing off of but sometimes close that up and not necessarily try to learn something new, just, just have some fun, just bang some chords around and learn, uh, learn a new song, alright? So we will see you as you go through this section, have fun, rip it up, rock on. and rock on.